Hi everybody, I'm Lisa. This is Crafting with Mimi. I'm going to be using this jumbo clothespin for our project today. I got it at Dollar General for a couple bucks, but I know you can get it other places. I'm also going to use this tray or sign that I got from Dollar Tree back in the fall. I already scraped off the, the um, glitter with some sandpaper. It was very minimal. I I'm not too worried about the side that I scraped the glitter off of because it's going to be the bottom, but you guys know I like a finished product, so I matched up some paint to what's already on there because I love this color and it's super beachy and this is going to be a beach themed craft today. I just got back from the beach, so I'm really sad and so I'm just trying to keep it alive a little longer. Um, I also took some stain that I made and just used that for the uh, top of the project. And I'm also going to use it on the clothespin. All I did here was make some stain out of some paint, put some water in it, and just laid the wet wipe in there. And I'm just going to use the wet wipe for the entire project because it went so far. These are little tumbling tower blocks um, I found at Dollar Tree. I'm going to stain them as well. And then I'm just going to put those aside to dry. And I also grabbed a couple of bigger Jenga blocks here. Um, these came from, like, I think Ross, not Dollar Tree because they're much bigger but they were only like five bucks at Ross. I'm gonna glue these two larger ones together. These are gonna um, act as my base right at the end of the project, you'll see. Now throughout the project, I'm gonna be using a combination of E6000 and hot glue to put everything together. This is my beach themed book of scrapbook paper. It was less than five bucks. Guys, Michaels has these um, sales all the time, just be watching for them. This is the page that I picked for my project. I already went ahead and cut it out um, to fit the inside of that little sign or box. I didn't do a very good job at cutting out, so you're gonna see here in a moment that I'm gonna add a little strip to the side because I didn't want the bottom of the tray to show. There it is right there. <laughs> I was rushing. I'm gonna seal it with Mod Podge. Uh, I did put it in with Mod Podge. I'm sealing it with Mod Podge as well. Just because it's gonna be in the washroom, um, I didn't want it to get wilted or withered or whatever. These tiles came from Dollar General for a couple of bucks. I just spelled out the word stuff. And I'm gonna be just hot gluing the word onto the clothespin, just like that. If you haven't figured it out by now, it's going to be a little trinket holder for stuff in the laundry room. I was inspired by a life event that happened yesterday. <laughs> it was incredible. I'm going to show you what it was in just a second. I just couldn't believe this could happen. <laughs> so I'm just putting the smaller blocks onto the sides of the clothespin using the glue pattern that I explained earlier. This is just gonna give it more stability when I put the tray on it. I centered it and made, it, made sure it was nice and secure. Look how cute that is. So just an added little thing that I wanted to put here to make it a little more beachy and nautical. I took some nautical rope and made some knots, four of them. And I'm just gonna be hot gluing the rope around the entire tray there just to make it look a little more beachy I thought it made it um it was the little touch that I needed there to make it super cute um very easy project right at the end here I'm just going to cut it and gather it to the side I should have put this part on the back of it but honestly it really doesn't matter it didn't show up that much that it was kind of frayed and not even like the other sides. So I was totally okay with it. Now for the final thing, I'm just going to put the little um, larger Jenga blocks that I put together as the stand. And again, E6000 hot glue. I'm just going to glue it straight onto there. And it just makes it super, super sturdy. And you can pretty much throw anything in it. So here's what inspired me. 
my dryer broke. <laughs> my husband pulled this out of somewhere in the dryer. It's incredible how much stuff was in there. This isn't even all of it. There were paper clips and buttons, lots of money, um, the, the hair clips there. I'm gonna show you how durable this thing is, but look at all that stuff. Those came from a, a collar, I guess. <laughs> Unbelievable. Where did that all go? Anyway, this is how durable it is. Throw it in there. It didn't move. I have another handful. I'm gonna throw that in there. Just toss it so it doesn't, and look, it never moves. So it's super sturdy and awesome. I love it. I still can't believe that was all in there. I wonder where all the socks are. <laughs> Does anybody know what happens to those things? <laughs> well, there's where all your money goes. I don't know where he got it from, but it's incredible. So there's the project for today. I hope you love it as much as me. Um, share it if you want to. It really helps me out. And we'll see you soon. I appreciate all of your shares. It has helped me get to my 10,000 followers. I love you guys. Be watching for some more great stuff in the future. Bye, guys. Have an awesome day.